college I knew I loved biology um, and science courses. Uh, those were mainly the only courses that I was genuinely interested and good at. Uh, when I figured that out, I decided that I would be pre-med, but mainly because I didn't think there was any other route for a biology major. Um, but then uh, I, my microbiology professor asked me if I wanted to volunteer in his lab and conduct research. And to that, of course, I said yes. And um, that experience just clicked for me. So I, I learned a lot about experimental design. I learned how to analyze data. And I also learned the importance of reporting novel results. Um, so that experience just solidified for me what I wanted to do with my education. I also, during that time, learned a, a lot about different types of biology research. And I knew that I didn't want to focus my research on, on basic research, that I actually wanted to be involved in research that centered on disease-oriented or translational research. Um, and so ultimately, throughout my you know, uh, scientific training, uh, I knew that I wanted to contribute to oncology research because it's such a global health issue that will continue to increase. Throughout my PhD and postdoc career, my research, even though it was disease-oriented, was really centered on understanding the mechanism behind an observation. It was very much hypothesis-generating research. Um, so it was several steps away from, from providing direct benefit to patients. Industry, I knew, was an opportunity to conduct research that would have direct clinical application, and I wanted to be a part of that. So that's why I had applied to Agendia, and fortunately it was an immediate fit on both sides in terms of the research and team dynamic. What I've learned at Agendia so far is that there's much more involved in improving healthcare beyond scientific research. Um, and that requires a lot of interdepartmental collaboration. Uh, that experience is quite different from what I experienced in academia. Um, my biggest achievement so far would probably be uh, to be able to collaborate between R&D and medical affairs to conduct clinical research that uh, we've been able to present internationally. A career in science is not straightforward um, and it's not a short path. Um, but above all else, to be able to succeed in this career path really depends on having resilience and, and being self-motivated. Um, other advice I would give is probably, as you start establishing yourself, you know, always be open to new or different opportunities that you didn't think were available or even existed, um, and never limit yourself to, to what you or others think you're capable of.